Good morning, everyone. Time to get ready with me to go to the airport. But before we get ready, I would just like to remind you to please make sure to subscribe to my channel and to click on that bell notification so you're always notified whenever I have new videos and to leave a comment below and give me a thumbs up. Okay, so now that we've got my spiel out of the way, time to get ready. I'm just gonna use a wide tooth comb to just comb through my hair before I start blow drying. So I normally allot maybe one, two hours to prep for the airport, but because I just got home from another trip, I had so much work to do, I was working the entire morning. So I feel like I don't really have much time now, but don't worry, I care for you, which is why even though I don't have much time, I'm gonna bring you guys with me as I get ready. So it's really, really good that I have my Dyson with me because it cuts down hairstyling time by like 80%. I really do feel like it helps me with making the styling time so much faster. So the reason why the Dyson Supersonic gets to dry my hair extra extra fast is because of the same air multiplier technology that is found in the Dyson Bladeless Fan. So basically, it creates a high velocity air stream by sucking air through the base of the unit and goes up towards the handle where the motor is and is propelled through the front barrel of the Supersonic. So by the time that it goes out from the front barrel, it's already gathered three times the air force that it had before going in the unit. So that means that it blows really, really strong air out of the unit. But even so, it makes sure that it doesn't damage your hair. Because the unit itself has heat sensors that help gauge and regulate the airflow temperature to adjust the motor speed automatically so that the temperatures are kept within a safe range. And you're sure that your hair is not damaged through the heat. And it's super duper light. I remember when I used to use my old hair dryer, it was always such a chore, especially before I had long hair. So it takes me so long and I had to like, I feel like I'm just working out with the weight of the blow dryer. It was just like, ugh. And I feel like I don't really have much skill when it comes to blow drying. So because my old blow dryer was already so heavy, it made it even harder to style my hair because, just, uh, but now with this one, it's super light. So, so, so much easier. So the Dyson Supersonic comes with three nozzles. The diffuser, choo -choo, the concentrator nozzle, choo -choo, and the smoothing nozzle. Choo -choo. So the smoothing nozzle is the one I use the most. It spreads a wide stream of air across the surface to avoid messy and displaced strands. So it basically makes sure that you're frizz-free and your hair is much, much more tame than usual. And then the concentrator nozzle creates a more of a focused stream of air, which is why you see it's got a smaller mouth you use it more for certain hairstyles like if you really want to create a specific hairstyle then you go for this one and then the diffuser nozzle is for reducing the frizz of curly hair by distributing air softly without disturbing the curls so if you've already got curly hair or if you're going for a curly look then this is the perfect way to dry your hair you could just do braids and then just use a nozzle and you're good to go but for now, since I just want to free flow like dry my hair we just use it without nozzle first I've already dried my hair a bit. You know how when you're in a hurry, you always tend to be more clumsy and it drops things? Good thing Dyson has this like non-slip mat where I could just like put it on top of my table and then I put my Dyson there and it doesn't slip. So perfect. I avoid accidents. So I'm gonna use this nozzle over here to just volumize my hair. So as you can see, I put it right on my scalp and just do this. It diffuses the air. It's not hot at all. I have it on full blast. So I have my fan and my heat level both on full blast. So I just... This is actually perfect if you're doing the beach waves or you just want your hair to be very natural. This is what I use. I usually put it on the lower heat level. I just finger comb my hair while I use my Dyson and it works like magic. But for now, I really want to make my hair a bit more sleek. Still natural but a bit straighter which is why I'll just use this to volumize my hair. But later on, we'll be using this styling tool. Already see if I want it to be beach waves already coming together right but again we're not doing that so let's switch your nozzle see that I held on to it I just used it and I held on to the nozzle normally if you use a normal blow dryer it would like burn your finger but so <laughs> we use this nozzle 
Ta-da! If I'm not in a hurry, I would normally use like a brush like this and really like take my time and style my hair. But because I am in a hurry, what I do is I just put it again in full blast, on fat, and full on heat. And then get a comb. So now that my hair is no longer wet, I then use this finer tooth comb to really remove all the hair tangles and to make it even more perfect. So as you can see, it's super volumized here, but I want a bit more volume here. So what I do is... <laughs> it's only been less than five minutes since I started blow drying my hair. It's already all good actually, but you can see Mejo, my bang, my bang, my bang. My fringe here is a bit curved, so what I'll do is I'll get my just get my bangs a tiny bit. And then pull it up like this upwards. So now my bangs are going to framing my face perfectly. Switch my hairline. And then final, final, final hair treatment. I use this from Medhead. So it's the after party it's just to seal everything in. And we're done. So it's not a made up look. I wanted it to look so natural and effortless as if I just air dried my hair. But in truth, I used my Dyson. I love it because again, it cuts down the styling time so, so much. Also, I feel like it doesn't really damage my hair because my hair has already been damaged from all the coloring and from all the styling from the other tools that I've been using. So at least with Dyson, it lessens that and it avoids more damage. It makes my hair look so much smoother and shinier. Because look all, oh, it's so shiny. And it's not at all flat, so it's very fluffy. But enough of that fluffiness. What I like to do whenever I have this natural hairstyle is that I tuck my hair behind my ear and then put a little bit of this strand, like a few strands of hair. That cute. Okay, so now time to dress up because I'm really so, so late. So I'm already done dressing up. I'm in something really, really comfortable because when I travel, I like to be comfortable, especially if it's an international flight. So I'm just in a shirt, in culottes, and rubber shoes. And I bring a jacket with me just in case it gets cold on the plane or at the airport. So now we're gonna fix my bag. I'm gonna transfer all my goods. So wallet, check. International money in an envelope, check. Straight from the bank, power bag, yes. Oil film because I'm an oily tita, yes. Table for charging because my power bank is broken and I need a separate table for that. Pen to fill up all the forms. What else? What else? What else? What else? Lip balm, lip tint, yes. Pills because I am allergic to the world. And we're, oh, and my vitamins, vitamins and antacids. Very tita. Oh, and passport. Let's not forget. And we're done. Let's go, guys. Again, the theme of this video is how Camille rushes to the airport. So we're already in the car. Normally, I would prefer putting my makeup on while I'm in my dresser, but we don't have time. We might get late, right, Pat? Right. <laughs> so now Pat is suffering because she has to film me <laughs> while on the way to the airport. And I'm gonna show you my quick makeup look that I wear when I'm going to the airport. So I don't usually like to put on super duper thick makeup when I go to the airport because I'm only just gonna be in flight anyways. And you know when you're on the plane, it gets really really dry and your skin really suffers when you're traveling, right? So I don't wanna make it suffer even more. So we try to keep it as light as possible. Right back? Right you are. <laughs> I have to think about my that's why. Okay, so first thing I do is put on my concealer. You guys have always seen this already. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. That is my Joa also. So we put it on my under eyes. As I've said, I don't like putting on foundation. So I only put on concealer on things I have to conceal. AKA my imperfections. Spell imperfections. Bad. Go. <laughs> 
girl. One twelve noon, okay? Kams, ikaw go while putting makeup. I am P E R F E C T I O N. Imperfection. Q claps. Nandito yung yung camera mask ko patas na lang patas eh ayan. Okay, sorry. Penny is also here to bring me to the airport. She's clingy like that. Show Penny, Joel. Penny there. Yeah. Penny, my new baby. Pepper is at home because she's already independent. She's a big girl now. And then I use my beauty blender just to blend, blend, blend it even more. Especially now that it's very, make sure that everything's blended. La, 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 la. And then we contour because even though we're going for the natural look, contour is life. Right, Pat? I thought it's key life, but yeah, I like contouring. Oh, I already have key life because I already have my eyebrows. Thanks to Permanent Makeup Manila, that is why I no longer put makeup on my eyebrows. <laughs> so. And then you just dab, dab, dab. So this is one of the things I learned during my trip in Japan and I was in the master class with Patrick Ta. He said that it's really so much better to just dab, 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 pat, pat, pat. Me. Instead of swiping. Then you get to control the amount of makeup and you get to control how it spreads or is applied to your face. So now everything's blended. I think I forgot to say which one I used. It's Amber from Fancy Beauty. So it's the same contour stick. Contour, <laughs> contour stick I'm gonna use for my nose line. already influenced one person. <laughs> <laughs> it is magic. It is. Very much so. Okay, so now that we've got our contour, next up is NARS Orgasm Blush. Again, let's do the Patrick Ta way. And then, you pat, pat, pat. Now I look like I'm Sweet 16. Ikaw mo kontra? Kala ko nga 15 eh. Ayan. Perfect. You are my friend. And then next up is eyeliner. I've been using this for so long. I don't even know what it's called because you can no longer see it. But it's from Benefit. It's a waterproof, waterproof, <laughs> waterproof eyeliner. So I just put below on my lash line and on the upper lash line. See, putting eyeliner on while in the car is a skill that I possess. Boom! And then I use this brush to spread the eyeliner just so it's a bit more. I don't really know why, but I do it. I try to extend it also towards the outer corners of my eye. not the order of how I do my makeup anymore but because we're in such a hurry I'm just doing what I remember. I've already told you guys that if I'm in a hurry I like using pencil sticks. So this is a nude sticks in Terra. So we just Ha <laughs> ha 
natural. Like I'm just looking down. My eyes aren't really closed. I know it looks freaky, right? <laughs> I get freaked out also when I see other people do this on themselves. But it's just because I have an issue with eyes. I'm scared of looking at other people's eyeballs. <laughs> it's weird. You know when you're when you were young. I don't know if your friends did that, but they used to like yeah, flip, flip their, their eyelid. eyelid. Girl, it's just the worst thing ever. <laughs> don't do it. And for example, if I have friends who just had like eye surgery and they explain to you what happened and stuff like that, mm -hmm. my face is just. I know. <laughs> so we put my mascara. I'm using the one from Marc Jacobs. Guys, I'm no longer doing a very good beauty vlogger job. I'm not telling you the product name, but it's because we just entered the terminal. And we are running out of. 10 Hi. seconds. This is an intense skill, huh? We've been on highways after highways after highways. This is my fave now. It really volumizes. Because again, I've got Chinese lashes, so they're not really hashtag blessed. But this gets me closer to that hashtag blessed look. Look at that. Pat, close up please. All done. There. Look, so good, right? I don't put on my lower lashes because I'm on the plane. I feel like it's gonna smudge more because I'm gonna be stressed or something. So, no. Okay, we're done. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Last <laughs> eyebrow mascara also. This is from. This is just a clear eyebrow mascara from Benefit. And then last but not the least, lipstick. I use this one. It's a lip balm, colored lip balm from 3CE X Maison Kitsune in Rose Sweets. This is the color. Time to keep this so that I can put it back in my bag. Made it to the airport and we've just finished checking in all on time. This is my final look. My makeup. My hair. Still shiny as abs. Again, just natural, kunyaring, hindi nagsuklay look. <laughs> like, woke up like this with shiny hair. And it's good because my hair is naturally wavy, so it's wavy but frizz free. And my final outfit. And so now we're heading to the gate. Thank you so much for getting ready with me to the airport. Thank you so much, Pat, for being my cameraman. <laughs> Whew, I, it was such a rush preparation. It yeah, it still is. I feel like I haven't really settled down. It was all done in like less than an hour. Everything. My bag, my clothing, my face, my hair. Whew, we did good. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure to leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. Bye.